Bill O'Reilly here, Monday, September 14th, 2020. You are listening to the O'Reilly Update. Here's what's happening today in America. Two deputies in Los Angeles critically injured in an ambush. Dozens of people shot in Baltimore. NFL ratings continue to decline. A boycott bills against a local Florida restaurant after Senator Harris shows up for a meal. Bob Woodward goes after President Trump on 60 Minutes. Also ahead, the price of kneeling for the anthem. But first, two L.A. police officers shot while sitting in patrol cars in Compton over the weekend. The department confirming the officers are, quote, fighting for their lives while it launches the largest manhunt in years. Anti-police protesters attempted to block the ambulance from entering the hospital, chanting, we hope they effing die. Surge in violence, leaving at least 45 people shot, 11 dead in Baltimore. Since January 1st, the city of just 600,000 has witnessed 233 homicides, 242 shootings. No comment from the Black Lives Matter movement on the murders or similar situations in Chicago, New York City, or Los Angeles. Ratings for the NFL's opening game dropping double digits, down 16% compared to last year. Angry fans in Kansas City actually booed during the pregame exposition. Recent poll from Gallup says 40% of viewers are turned off by political statements at games. Liberal magazine The Atlantic wants to cancel the Nobel Peace Prize because President Trump has been nominated. Meanwhile, Bob Woodward scorched Mr. Trump on 60 Minutes over COVID last night. Don't know if any of those things matter at all. A restaurant in Florida facing backlash after Kamala Harris and her husband stopped by for lunch. The owners of Amaze Latin Flavors telling reporters they weren't notified of the visit saying, quote, we don't use our company for political reasons. There is no reason to target any restaurant for serving any politician a meal. That is flat out wrong, no matter what side the political equation has you in. Don't do that. In a moment, NFL protest, the unintended consequences. Right back. Hey, investors seeking steady cash flow, ready to diversify? Founded in 2006, NRIA has become one of the nation's leading specialists in institutional caliber private real estate investment with more than $1.2 billion in assets under management. As their slogan says, they specialize in realty investing done right. You can also use your 401k or IRA to invest. You could receive steady 10% monthly electronic payments to your bank account with valuable property, not just paper assets, securing you and obtain returns with bonuses targeted at 18 to 21%. NRIA's 14 year track record and 1.2 billion in new construction development backs you. So learn how you can invest in this hard asset real estate cash flow fund today. Please call 201 210 2727, 201-210-2727, or visit nria.net. Time now for the O'Reilly Update. Message of the day, putting your money where your knee is. Fascinating to see the nation's intense culture war played out in Kansas City before the NFL's opening game. The Chiefs largely stood for the national anthem, and some players actually put their hands over their hearts. My deceased father and grandfather, both wartime vets, would have been proud. The Houston Texans stayed in the locker room for the anthem, and I am thankful for that. It hurts me to see my country insulted, so I'm glad I did not have to witness mass kneeling on the part of the Texans. And I approve of clarity. I now know how the Houston football team feels about America. Announcer Chris Collingsworth was extremely annoying, virtue signaling that he stands with the players in their social justice protests. Hey, Chris, spare us. We all know how noble you are. 
and I'm happy to discuss your opinion on my news analysis program anytime. But using your entertainment platform to push a political point of view is exactly what the Academy Award pinheads do. In truth, the bravest thing done at the game was play-by-play guy Al Michaels, a brilliant announcer, totally avoiding the culture stuff. By staying silent, Michaels knew he would be hammered by the woke mob, which is exactly what happened. So here's what's going to happen to the National Football League. Annoyed by the political correctness, many fans will stop buying merchandise from teams. That huge source of revenue will plummet, with the Houston Texans leading the way. TV ratings for the first game were down substantially, as I reported. The teams are paid billions regardless of ratings, so they'll not suffer there. But the networks will. Of course, the pandemic is severely limiting fans from going to the stadiums, so the $10 beers and $6 hot dogs will be erased from the bottom line, along with the $30 parking fee. Right now, the average salary for an NFL player is $2 million per season, the lowest of all the major sports. That's because most players come out of college and sign for minimum union wages. The NFL means not for long. Many players are quickly injured and replaced by other young athletes. Average time in the league, less than three years. What the players do not seem to understand is that the fans pay them. And many spectators, perhaps most, do not want to see politics on game day. I am among them. I do respect dissent and well understand social injustice. I have a charitable foundation that donates millions to help Americans who do not have equal opportunity. Not virtue signaling, just reporting. The reason I'm able to give away millions of dollars is that the United States provided me, who had zero money when I left college, the opportunity to prosper. The climb up was tough, requiring a massive amount of hard work. I couldn't have done it in Sweden. The NFL players could not have done it in Sweden. So, bottom line, watch what you protest, particularly if you're alienating those who pay your salary. I'm Bill O'Reilly, and I approve that message by writing it. Disagree? I want to hear from you. Bill at BillOReilly.com. Also, please consider my new book, Killing Crazy Horse. You'll like it. In a moment, something you might not know. There are thousands of animals abandoned in the wilderness that need our help. I partnered up with Delta Rescue, the largest no-kill, care-for-life animal sanctuary in the world. Founded by actor Leo Grillo, who left Hollywood to devote his life to saving abandoned animals, Delta Animal Sanctuary is a -a one-of-a-kind rescue. They are staffed by trained attendants who look after each animal, providing them with water, treats, toys, and affection. Please support Delta Rescue and put your legacy to work. Each life-saving gift helps Delta fulfill their mandate to rescue and care for animals. So please request a free estate planning package at deltarescue.org forward slash bill. For a limited time, you can watch The Rescuer. It's free only at deltarescue.org forward slash bill. The Rescuer is an award-winning documentary about Grillo's two-year rescue of a family of 21 dogs abandoned in the wilderness. deltarescue.org forward slash bill. Now the O'Reilly Update brings you something you might not know. Americans, as I said, are tuning out the NFL, but also the NBA and Major League Baseball in big numbers. Ratings down double digits for all sports on TV across the board. According to a new poll from Gallup, a growing number of U.S. adults now view teams negatively. More than 40% of us say we're unhappy to see athletes make overt political statements before games. Despite the decrease in viewership, the players are getting paid more than ever before, but that could change. The biggest contracts, quarterback Patrick Mahomes, Russell Wilson, Ben Roethlisberger, Aaron Rodgers, and Jared Goff in the NFL. They each earn more than $33 million a year. The median income for baseball players is $4.5 million annually. Biggest star, Mike Trout of the LA Angels, 
makes a whopping $38 million. And that's California Angels, I believe. Athletes in the NBA earn about $7.7 million on average. Top paid, Stephen Curry, Russell Westbrook, Chris Paul, James Harden, John Wall, each making more than $38 million a year. That's astronomical. Hockey players generate the least of all major league sports. Players on the ice make about $1.5 million on average. Highest paid at $15 million are the Canadian players. That's the average up there. And here's something else you might not know. According to the Gallup poll, America's entire sports business is now ranked the third least popular industry in the USA. Just 34% view the leagues as favorable, while 4 in 10 say they're turned off. The number two spot goes to the pharmaceutical industry. Americans not happy with high prices for daily medications. The least admired institution in America. Ready? You may have guessed it, the federal government. That's because the federal government is looking out for itself, the swamp, and not the folks. The most popular groups in the United States of America, take a guess, farmers and grocery store workers. Back after this. How bad is your back, knee, or neck pain? Mine was pretty bad. I played four sports when I was younger, and uh, it's catching up with me now. I tried a lot of stuff to manage the pain. Ointments, pain relievers, fish oil, nothing worked. So a doctor friend of mine recommended Omega XL, and here's why. The underlying cause of painful, achy joints and muscles is inflammation. The key to knock down inflammation before it causes damage is backed by 35 years of research. And that's what Omega XL does. The doctor also says, quote, I can't write any prescription that comes close to what Omega XL accomplishes. She was right. So if you're suffering with painful, achy joints and muscles, stop wasting money and switch to Omega XL. Order Omega XL now and get a second bottle free. Visit OmegaXL.com slash bill omegaxl.com slash bill, or you can call 800-844-4888, 800-844-4888. Thank you for listening to the O'Reilly Update. I am Bill O'Reilly, no spin, just facts, and always looking out for you. <laughs>